In this video, we'll demonstrate how to set up and operate a burette. Burettes are typically used in titration experiments to precisely measure the volume of solution that has been added to a reaction vessel. Burettes are tall and thin, usually glass tubes with a stopcock at the bottom. The markings on the burette start at zero on the top and end at the burette's capacity, in this case 50 milliliters. The markings go top to bottom because it measures the volume of liquid dispensed. The stopcock is a valve that allows control over the rate at which the liquid is dispensed. With the handle perpendicular to the body, it is closed. Parallel, it is completely open. In use, a burette is mounted to a ring stand with clamps. Before use, a burette should be rinsed well with deionized water, then rinsed once with a solution to be used with the burette. When rinsing, make sure the rinse contacts the entire internal surface of the burette. Empty the rinse into a waste container. With the burette properly rinsed, it can be filled. To prevent spills and splashes, make sure the stopcock is closed, a funnel is used, and the burette is adjusted to an appropriate height. Take special care not to overfill the burette, and remove the funnel when done. After the fill, any bubbles and air pockets in the tip past the stopcock should be forced out. To do so, open and close the stopcock over a waste container. You may have to lightly tap the burette to dislodge all the bubbles. The liquid level in the burette should be between 0 and 10 milliliters. Refill the burette if needed. As an example, we'll perform a simple titration. In the flask, we have 50 milliliters of vinegar to which we've added a few drops of phenolphthalein. This is the analyte. In the burette is our titrant, a standardized solution of sodium hydroxide. We will be finding the volume of titrant it takes to neutralize the acid in the vinegar. The phenolphthalein is an indicator. It will show us when we've reached the endpoint of the titration by changing color. To find the volume of the titrant used, we need to take two measurements from the burette, one before we begin, the initial volume, and one at the end point, the final volume. To take a measurement, find the level of the solution and read the value at the bottom of the meniscus. Your eyes must be level with the meniscus for an accurate reading. Here the initial volume is 1.29 milliliters. To reach the endpoint, slowly add titrant to the analyte using the stopcock. As you approach the endpoint, color will begin to appear in the analyte. Slow down to one drop at a time at this point, fully mixing the drop in until the color dissipates. Only when the color persists has the endpoint been reached.
We'll take another reading at the endpoint, in this case 14.98 milliliters. Now to find the volume added, subtract the initial volume from the final volume. In this example we have 14.98 milliliters minus 1.29 milliliters to get 13.69 milliliters of titrant added. The burette is an extremely useful tool for quantitative analysis when used correctly. Thanks for watching.